everybody doing with the prequel Pearl, which is a prequel to X, I've decided to review, well, X. Um, this movie came out earlier this year, and I was honestly really surprised that they hear that the prequel was coming out this year. I, I really did enjoy this movie. This is easily one of the best horror movies this year, one of the best movies this year. I think 2022 is probably, so far, the best best year of what we've gotten of horror movies. Now, pretty much every horror movie I've watched, I've rather enjoyed, or I thought it was okay. I rather enjoyed it, I thought it was okay, or I thought it was really good. And, with with, per, with Pearl coming out, well, has come out already, um, I'm pretty excited for it. But, he, let's get on with my review. My positive positives for this film are the characters. All the characters were enjoyable, they were likable, and when they died, you actually kind of felt something. Like, you didn't want these characters to die, they weren't, like, assholes, they weren't mean to the old people, they were actually going out of their way to help them. And they do all these things, and they don't just do them for themselves. Like, if these characters die, you kind of feel upset about it, because you really enjoy these characters, you want to see them get through this, you want to see them live. Which, I'm pretty sure Ty West um, wanted to do that. I think that was like his main point for this movie. And uh, the gore, the special effects, and like the practical effects, excuse me, not special effects. The practical effects in this movie were phenomenal. I loved them. They were one of the best practical effects I've seen in a very long time. And some people did say that they wanted more gore in this movie, but... <laughs> The thing that I said to them, like, what are you talking about? This movie's, like, really gore. This movie has really good kills and everything. What's going on with my TV? I thought there was going, something going on with my TV. And Mia Goth, she is amazing in this movie as playing Max, as playing Maxine, and playing Pearl, which I'm very excited to see what she'll do in the prequel. Um, she is really good as Maxine in this movie, and I'm pretty excited to see what she can do while playing her for a second time in the third movie that's probably going to come out next year because the script's already written and just needs to be filmed. And her as Pearl, I did not know it was her. When I went to the theater to watch this, I did not know it was her until I saw on the credits and it said uh, Maxine slash Pearl Mia Goth. I was like, wait, the main chick in this movie also played the villain? She is phenomenal as her, and I don't know if they intentionally tried to show it or they were trying to hide it i don't know what they were trying to do but if they tried to hide it they did an amazing job if they if you ask me anyways and uh i did like the tcm vibe of this movie like how it takes some elements from texas chainsaw massacre and they put it into this movie like there's certain shots shot the so same way some of the characters are like it some of the characters act like it it's just really cool, and it also takes place in Texas, which makes more sense. And I also did like the Psycho vibes. Oh, God. Is it okay? Okay, my computer just glitched all of a sudden. I did like the Psycho vibes, because Lorraine, I believe her name is, Jenna Ortega's character, she brought up Psycho when, like, her boyfriend, RJ, was like, oh, no, you can't be in the movie. And, um... Uh, She's like, well, what about Psycho? You love that movie. And then there's another scene in this movie where you can see a car in the swamp, just like in Psycho, when he was dumping that lady's car in the swamp. I really enjoyed that, and I'm really glad that they put that in there. And I really loved the 70s vibes, uh, vibe of this movie. Now, every song, like, this is probably not a big deal to anyone. I did love how they put... 70s music into this movie and they didn't do it like Texas Chainsaw 3D where like this girl should be 40 years old and they did and they put modern music in here. They did not put modern music in here. They did not put any um 80s, 90s, 2000 m music in this movie. They did their research. Or there's people who grew up in the 70s and they just put music that they listened to. Whatever they did, they did an amazing job. Now, for my negatives. I wouldn't say this is much of a negative. I say this is more of a mixed aspect. I feel this movie gets too much love. No, don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed this movie. I'm not saying it's the worst movie of all time. I'm not saying it's the worst horror movie of all time. I'm not saying it's the worst movie this year. But I'm also saying it's not the best film this year. 
it's not my favorite horror movie that I know of. I <laughs> watched four times this year, and it's still not my favorite. My favorite is The Black Phone. I do not give a shit what the fuck you say. I just feel it just gets too much love than what it deserves. Now, I like it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's it's horrible. I'm saying it's good. I do enjoy this movie, and this is easily in my top ten favorite movies this year. But it's getting too much love, and I feel there's only one reason why these pe why people like this, and you probably know why. But that's not why I like it. Every positive I just gave you is the reason why I love this movie. This is a mo this is the re those reasons are the reason I put this movie back on. This is the reason I want to watch this movie, not because <laughs> they are making an adult film. I am watching this movie because I love the aspect of this movie and I love everything else that they do with this movie and I love the characters. I love everything that they do with this movie. But what just holds it back for me is how much it, how much love it gets. I like it, but I just feel it doesn't deserve all the love. But that's all I really have to say that's bad about this movie. Not bad. It's just a little mixed thing for me. I do enjoy this movie. This is a must go out and buy it if you ask me. I am very excited to go watch Pearl in a couple hours. And actually in about an hour. At 5.30. What time is it? 4.14. And, yeah, I'm going to go watch it in an hour, and I'm very excited to see what they can do with the prequel. Not a fan of prequels. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of prequels, but I am excited to see Pearl's backstory. But, oh, excuse me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you not miss any more of my videos. And hit the bell notification so you will get notified when my newest videos comes out. Until next time, be good people.